Hey guys, I hope you're ready. We're going to be doing so much in today's video. Some extreme spring cleaning, decluttering, garage clean out, power washing, outdoor cleaning, indoor cleaning. I'm going to be sharing with you my photo organizational system. This is a system that I've perfected over the years. It's how I organize physical copies of my photos, digital copies of a really good system, a grocery haul, some deep cleaning. Like I said, we're doing a lot. I hope you're ready. We are going to get this done together. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is, welcome to Jamie's Journey. I hope you guys are ready, and I just, before we get started on all that we're doing, I just want to say thank you. Truly, thank you for being here, hanging out with me every single week. You guys make everything worth it for me. You brighten my day, you build me up, and I'm so grateful for you, and I hope I can do the same. So I am starting out this day. All the kids were at school, so I was trying to get a lot done. I wanted to wash our bedding, and then the twins' bedding, and then while I was in here, I decided I might as well just pick up really, really quickly, and I had noticed that there was some Vaseline on the wall, so I was going to clean that. If you need a good wall cleaner, I'll show you what I used. Um, but yes, you know, the twins just turned four. You would think they'd be out of that stage where they'd be getting into things, but I guess we're not totally out of the woods yet. So there was some Vaseline on the wall. So I end up using um, Zep foaming wall cleaner, and I was a little skeptical because Vaseline can be really thick and oily, but I was like, you know what, I, I, let's grab this, and I was very, very impressed. It took it all the way off. I just did two coats of it, wiped it down, and I was really impressed. So I know some of you guys have been asking me because I think I had alluded to that I was going to share how I organize my photos. And so over the past couple of years, really since, not a couple of years, I was going to say since Avery was born, but she's going to turn eight at the end of April. So pretty much the past eight years, which is insane for me to say out loud that I knew that once she was born, I wanted to get a good system going. I wanted to have albums, but I also didn't want to spend a lot of time creating albums. So I wanted to find a way I can make albums, but make it very simple and efficient. And then I wanted a way to back up, an easy way to back up my photos on my phone. And then I wanted to be able to print actual prints because you know, there's gonna be times where we actually need a physical copy of a photo. And over the years, I perfected it, and I will be running through that here later, going through step by step. I like lay out the steps, so stay tuned for that.
so when I'm done here, an Elsa braid under my bed, um, the girls love playing dress up, but I'm, um, when I'm done here, you're going to see me, Addison had another bloody nose, um, if you guys are new here, she's had chronic bloody noses, we are on the waiting list to go see an ENT, we use saline gel spray, we have a humidifier, we use Vaseline, so we've done all that the pediatrician recommends, we're just waiting to go see the ENT, um, but this is my DIY cleaner of Dawn dish soap, um, baking soda, and then hydrogen peroxide, and I basically just layer them, I'm not particular, and then rub it in there, this is a great stain remover for anything. It's not just blood. This is like my go-to stain remover. If you need a good stain remover, use this. But we just got back from spring break. Well, off of spring break, we went um, on a little weekend getaway with the girls, and we had a lot of fun. I'll talk more about that here later, but I was cleaning stuff up, and then I was going to run. I read somewhere, so if you guys have a coffee maker they say that you know you should clean it out you should descale it with vinegar periodically to really clean out the entire machine but I read recently that maybe once a week you should just run water through it and that will pull out all of like any coffee that's in the machine so I've been trying to do that weekly and you'll see when I do it um, one of the cups was brown and then the other one the second time I ran it was clear so give that a try If you need a quick and efficient way to clean your cabinets, use your mop. I'm using my O Cedar Spin Mop and I put in some Mr. Clean Multi-Purpose Cleaner in a group I'm in. I read that this is, it was like a, a group of a bunch of cleaning ladies, like a ton of cleaning ladies swear by Mr. Clean Multi-Surface Cleaner for the floors. I had people say they've never seen their floors cleaner. Um, by using that. So I've been using that a lot on my floors, but I'm also using it to clean my cabinets and it goes a lot quicker when I do this. I don't have to necessarily get on the cabinets and then get up and down and things like that. So it just makes things go a lot quicker. But yeah, we just got back. We live in Northwest Ohio outside of the Toledo, Ohio area. We went two hours south to Columbus and just let the girls swim in a hotel pool. They had so much fun just swimming in a pool, um, an indoor pool. And then we took the girls to the American Girl Doll store. I surprised the twins with the Our Generation dolls from Target. And I promise I wasn't being cheap, but like they don't really care. Like, they don't care about the brand names necessarily. Like if it was Avery, she loves Barbie. So if there was like a Barbie store, 100% would let her get like a real Barbie. But the twins, American Girl doll is no different than like the cheapest doll out there. So I get them Ameri or the Our Generation dolls from Target. And then I let them pick out some outfits for their dolls. And Avery and I did some shopping and all of that. So we just had a lot of fun as a family. Legoland, um, just a lot of fun. So here I am just finishing up the garage. In last week's video, you guys saw Mike and I get started. This is actually some extra clips from then. And then you're going to see when we came out um, the, a couple days later and when we did some like serious cleaning and I brought out the power wash. Think you know I want you for myself I don't need anybody else Wanna leave this place Meet me in the dark where we can both hide No one's gonna steal our time again We don't have to say much Let our lips touch I will stay with you until the end Meet me in the dark
I know you probably think I'm crazy. I'm washing <laughs> the floor of a garage, um, but something had spilled on there. So I just wanted to wipe it down because I didn't want it to attract ants or bugs or things like that. Normally I wouldn't be on my hands and knees scrubbing the garage floor. <laughs> Um, okay, so Mike and I, it was so cold this day, but we just wanted to finish up the garage and I had just gotten tired of tracking the mud in. So we had more mud than normal because we have fiber cable wires. I don't even know really what that means that where we get our cable from. This is actually kind of new in this area. They call it fiber optic I think fiber optic cable so it's something that's run under the ground and so when they came in January when we moved in they just kind of had it sitting on the mud in the ground and for what oh I think they probably had to wait until the ground wasn't so frozen and hard so then they just came back recently and then they buried the cords and th the guy was like walking back and forth and he just tracked so much mud onto the driveway so I wanted to get out the power washer. This chair had blown over. It gets pretty windy in the back. It had blown over in the mud. So I wanted to power wash that before we put it back on the porch. And then I wanted to power wash the driveway at least just in the main walkway area. So when we come in and out of the house, we're not tracking mud in. And nobody wears shoes inside the house. It's just like as soon as we step in, we take, even the kids know. Like as soon as they step in, they take their shoes off. But still... There's just so much mud out there. The minute we step in, there's mud on the rug. So I planned on doing more power washing, but you guys, it was so cold out. I think it was 30 or 40, 39 degrees or 40 degrees when we were out here at this point. And even though I had gloves on, my hands were freezing. Like they were so cold. I could barely hold the power washer. And so I just could only do the main like walkway area. And then I got, because we, when we park our, one of our cars, if we don't put them in the garage, it goes almost straight up. Um, parallel to that side door and so I just wanted to go in here and power wash those big clumps of dirt in in December 30th and we're just you know at this point settled we feel like it's our home and here in like a month month and a half we're gonna get to enjoy more of the house because we get to enjoy the outside and if you guys are new here in our old house we were so close to our neighbors, especially our backyard neighbors. This was one of the main reasons why we made the move. And we are so excited for summer nights out here. So I cannot wait. Stay tuned for more outdoor cleaning when it gets warmer. All right, so we're decluttered, cleaned out. Now, <laughs> we probably won't do this for a while. It definitely needs to warm up because it is way too cold. We need to get some organizational systems going on in here. We need to get some hooks for the walls, hang some of these bikes up, things like that. Um, get like an organizer for the brooms and rakes and all that stuff, but I am ready to go inside. It is so cold and I have two long, I have a sweatshirt and a long sleeve shirt and a winter coat and gloves. I'm cold, ready to go inside. So I'm gonna share with you how I organize all of my pictures. I have a little helper here. <laughs> Avery's gonna help me, she's home from school. And, okay, so there's three different ways. This is how I look at it. If something were to happen, maybe a fire, um, maybe we lose pictures, whatever it is, I wanna cover all the bases. That's kind of how I look at it. So first and foremost, I make this album 
yearly. So we have something to look back, you know, day to day, year to year. We just want the top memories from the year. So I make one of these every single year. And I have learned over the years, the best way to do this is every time you take a picture. So every time I take a picture that I think is worthy of going in the yearly book, um, I heart it. So I'll heart it and then I put it in a separate album. So I always title it, title it the year and Adam's family album. So let's say this was a trip Mike and I went on that I wanted to document. Let's see, um, we took the girls to a baseball game and it was a gr some great memories. First day of school, that type of thing. So all of these great pictures, I add them to a separate album in my iPhone. So step number one, take your pictures like you do and then add them to a separate album in your phone. And then what I do is I go to Shutterfly and I upload periodically, maybe every three months or so, I upload those pictures to an album in Shutterfly. And the reason why I do that is because when I go to make this album, it just makes it easier if all of those top pictures are in Shutterfly because then instead of pulling through a thousand pictures or two thousand pictures or however many pictures you're taking throughout the year, you're only pulling through those top pictures. That, But for example, this is 2021 pictures. So all of the top pictures from that year. So when I went to make that album, it made it very easily because I was just choosing from, you know, these pictures. So save your pictures into a separate album on your iPhone and then upload those periodically to Shutterfly to create this album. And then all of the pictures that are in this album, top pictures of the year, um, I get made into prints. And so what Avery is going to help me do is add these into this case. So this is a great way to store all of the pictures that we have, and this is a fireproof case. So there's, this is the reason why I like it. Number one, you have the you know yearly memories that you can go back through and be like, oh, I remember this, it was so nice. Um, and in the beginning, I always kind of write a paragraph based on like the, the highs and the lows of the year. And so every single year, we have one of these albums. And then we have all of the pictures in that album, we have them print, and we're gonna put it in here to organize, this is a fireproof case. So if there was a fire, they would be protected. Um, and then the one other place that I go to is electronically, just in case. And this is where this little guy comes in. So this, this is a USB that plugs right into your phone. So I just plugged it in, you allow it, and then you can add, let's see. Yep, so you already have pictures in here. So you plug it in and then you can add pictures directly from your phone. You don't have to hook it up to a computer. You don't have to add it to folders on your computer. And you can just add everything straight from your iPhone or your phone straight to this. Avery help me. So we have seven years of photos. This is seven years of our top photos. That's how I do it. If you guys have a better system, please let me know because I'm always willing to grow and learn different ways how to do things. Hey guys. All right, another day of cleaning. I don't have a lot that I want to get done today, but I just spent, I spent most of the morning while the girls were at school running a ton of errands. Felt so good to get done. All of that done. You know, like when the errands start piling up, what I typically do is I will wait and do like a ton at one time. I don't know, it's just easier that way. So I feel so accomplished already that I got all of the errands done. So definitely feel better. But what I want to do now is a couple days ago when I wash, or yesterday when I wash all of the bedding, um, it like sat in the washer until right when it was time for bed and we just kind of threw it on there. So I actually want to make up the bed today. I'm going to vacuum and mop downstairs. I don't know. We'll see what else I, I have to do. So you're joining me for another day of cleaning. I hope you're ready.
Oh, so let's talk high point and low point to the week. So I would say obviously the one of the high points was having more time with the girls, more family time, doing fun things with them. I think I said it in a couple videos ago with the twins being four, I'm seeing such a, a switch in them, except for the Vaseline. <laughs> Um, such a switch in them where we can take them out and it's not just running after them and chasing and telling them don't do this or that. It's they're enjoying and they're able to do what we do, you know, and it's just fun to do family stuff. So that was obviously a huge high point, um, spending quality time as a family with them. And then another high point, which is kind of a weird high point, is that I'm sore from working out. I have told you guys that I've been focusing more on strength training and weightlifting. I am a cardio girl. I love my cardio. It just frees my mind. I love that like out of breath feeling. I love being drenched in sweat. And so I have to like push myself to lift weights, but I love that like sore feeling the next day. I mean, it's not always nice, but I just feel like my body is responding to the hard work that I was doing. So I am sore from lifting weights and I've been doing either workouts on Obey, it's a fitness app, or Caroline Gervin. I've talked about her before, but it's free. So Caroline Gervin is free here on YouTube and she is just, she'll kick your, your butt. And there's so many different programs and I just do it. I can do it at home. And it just, I don't know, I've been loving it. I will get to the low point here in a minute, but I was just kind of cleaning up this back hallway. It was kind of a mess and just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, low point to my week, and I always feel weird talking about some of this stuff, but it's real life. I, as I've gotten older, and I've talked about this before, my cycle has changed so much, and it's been kind of a struggle. I've never been someone who really struggled with cramps or mood swings or PMS, but man, I am telling you, within the past two years, but more specifically within the past six months to a year, I have really changed around, you know, that time of the month and it's gotten really, really hard. Um, not in a serious way, um, but I just, there's a few days where I just don't feel myself and I'm starting to dread when that time comes around. And so I'm finally like out of the woods of that time of the cycle. And it's just kind of, oh, I can, breathe a little bit and appreciate that that is done and over with at least until next month. But if you guys struggle with that, your monthly cycles, the ups and downs of hormones, I'm sure my PCOS probably makes it a little bit worse. Man, I'm sorry that you guys struggle with that. It's tough. It's not fun being a woman, a woman sometimes, you know, but I'm feeling better, but it was kind of a rough week. Luckily, the girls were off of school and we had a lot of fun and I think that kind of helped it a little bit. But yeah, luckily that's done and over with until next month. So usually my two-step process for cleaning stainless steels is stainless steel appliances is to go in with the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner um, and not so much with that. So what I have found is that stainless steel is not all created equal. Um, like these are not all the same appliances. They're not from all of the same company. And so with the fridge, for the most part, I can just use the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner and it's good. For whatever reason, this dishwasher, I typically have to go in with an e-cloth to shine it when I'm done. But I did end up getting a little happy when I was spraying the Sprayway and it took all of those watermarks off. So I think I showed you guys right here and then there was like a long watermark running down the front and it's completely gone. And usually it's really hard for me to remove all 
of the smudges, the watermarks and all of that. And that's why I usually have to go in with the e-cloth, but I am pleasantly surprised. So spray away for the win. Okay, so when I'm done here, I'm gonna vacuum and mop in the kitchen, back hallway, and mop. And then I'm gonna share with you a Walmart grocery haul. So I'm gonna vacuum and mop, and then I'll kind of close out the video, say my like normal goodbyes. Thank you guys. It's always important for me to make for sure you guys know how much you mean to me and to thank you for being here in the beginning and thank you for sticking around to the end. It's always just so crazy to me that you guys are willing to spend the time 30, 40 minutes with me, so thank you. So I'll close that out and then I will share the Walmart grocery haul. I like sharing grocery hauls. It's always fun for me to kind of see what people get or new things because we very rarely actually go shopping. Mike has started to go shopping more. He's kind of on this health kick, um, trying to eat a little bit healthier, looking more into like different supplements. He's always worked out. He lifts weights, but he's trying to pull in and do more cardio. So we're kind of opposites there, but he's been doing more shopping because he actually needs to see stuff to know if he wants it or to get ideas. I'm more like, I will go find the recipes online and like on Pinterest or something or a blog or even YouTube. And then I just do my like Walmart or Aldi grocery pickup or something like that. So I never go shopping. So it's my way of finding out what's out there when it comes to food. I posted um, an Amazon or a Walmart and Amazon. I posted a couple of fashion reels on Instagram and I said that I like seeing that because that's like my form of shopping. I don't like shopping. I don't like going to any store in person at all. So if I can see someone else who's about my size wear a shirt or pair, pair of pants or shorts that looks really cute, I'm like, ooh, I felt like they did the shopping for me. So Walmart grocery haul coming up soon. I'm tired but I'm honestly not even that tired <laughs> I think I'm just ready to sit down it's, I feel like whew, it just feels good to have everything done um Avery has softball practice tonight so it'll just be me and the twins and I think I'm gonna make well I don't think I know I'm gonna make chicken tacos for dinner so I'm actually gonna go it's oh, not a good angle um I'm actually gonna go up and shower really quickly um and get dinner started. Guys, thanks for sticking around until the very end in this right now. And you guys stuck around for a 30 or 40 minute video, which blows my mind, but just know I am grateful and so thankful that you're here. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week. And just remember, you can handle anything that is thrown your way. I'm telling you that. I need to remind myself of that sometimes, but I want you to know it as well. You're strong, you are. So anyways, thank you guys for being here. I will see you next All right, another day, more groceries. Okay, this one is from Walmart 
and we'll see what we got to start out we have some english muffins i've been loving egg sandwiches in the morning and i had one yesterday and emery wanted a bite and then she loved it so i think i'm gonna start making breakfast sandwiches for the girls in the morning so i got some english muffins just some peaches no sugar added diced peaches and um we've never had the parfait the peaches and cream parfait Thought I'd give it a try. Something to throw in lunches, some mixed fruit, just a way to switch up the applesauce. So this is the um, strawberry peach. I don't know about your kids, but my kids go in like kicks and they want the same things over and over and over and then they get tired of it and they wanna move on. So something as simple as just changing the type of flavor of the applesauce um, can work for us. So I got some of that type of applesauce some marinara sauce for a recipe I'm using this week, or I'm gonna do some meal prepping this week. Some white milk, chocolate milk, and lemonade. Um, the girls, lemonade is their go-to drink, other than apple juice. I mean, primarily they drink white or chocolate milk or water most of the time, um, but occasionally we'll let them have some lemonade or apple juice, so I picked up some lemonade this time. So I'm using this French loaf, French bread for a recipe this week. My power waffles, I usually get them from Thrive Market, but I just went to Costco and I tend to alternate between Costco and Thrive. So I'll go, you know, every other month or every other couple of months, I go to Thrive or I get an order in from Thrive. The next month or two, I'll do Costco. So I kind of rotate. We're not on the Thrive Market rotation this time. So I picked up... Um, a box from Walmart. They actually just started selling them. These Chobani drinks, Avery will take these in her lunches when she just does like a, a sandwich. And these are an example. I usually get the Dan and Light and Fit, but the girls have gotten a little tired of those. So I'll switch to these and then we'll go back. So these are just great on hand. I like drinking them in the morning as well. So yogurt or Greek yogurt drinks. Um, we love our we love our yogurt. For me, I eat yogurt every single day in some capacity. Sometimes it's in a drink. Sometimes I'll just put it in a bowl and add some granola. Like I have some peanut butter granola I've been adding. Um, or I'll eat it as a snack at night. The twins like these Danimals a lot. So we have a lot of yogurt, but it's all just based on like what we're feeling. Everyone kind of pre prefers their own method of yogurt. So lots of yogurt, but um the girls have been loving i've been crushing up some oreos and just like crushing up a little bit like half of an oreo and put it on some yogurt greek yogurt at night and they love it like to them it's like such a good snack and they're getting some protein in them like it's a healthy-ish snack and you're just adding some either we'll do sprinkles or some crushed up oreos sprinkles are just something so simple for kids that go a long way lemon i've been drinking lemon in my water every single morning some Italian style, style meatballs for a quick recipe. Cucumbers, um, berries, cheese sticks, broccoli bars. You know how much I love these. They're so good. They're expensive, but they are my favorite. So, got some of those, some jello. Um, I'm gonna make chocolate chip, and then the secret ingredient to my favorite chocolate chip cookies instant vanilla pudding and it's the powder so i'm gonna make a double batch this week so i can freeze the dough that way i can make fresh chocolate chip cookies whenever i want um ground beef some fig bars um fun fact you can put these in the fridge if you have any bars especially if you have like little kids like you know a one-year-old or a two-year-old and they get um they're really really messy you can take any sort of bar like this and you put it in the fridge and it won't be as crumbly and messy. So, okay, so these I got, and the twins have to, well, I get to go and help, I'm really excited. And, but with the twins, they have to take a gluten-free snack because there's a student in their class that's gluten-free and they have to be pre-packaged. I've talked about this, that's why I love shopping at Thrive Market because they make it so easy to find gluten-free snacks. Um, but this time, since it's for a party, it can actually be a sweet treat, usually, it doesn't have to be, it It can't be a sweet treat, but because it's a party, we get to bring a sweet treat, but it has to be gluten-free and pre-packaged and we have to bring it for the entire class. And so I picked these up, um, gluten-free Rice Krispie treats. So 
that is that. Um, and sparkling water. I've been on a huge sparkling water kick. This is the kind from Walmart. Um, typically I get it from Costco, but I've just been on a big kick with the strawberry. It's, um, I know some people don't like sparkling water. I feel like this kind, the Clear American from Walmart, is a little sweeter than normal. So if you like a sparkling water with more flavor and taste, um, definitely try out this brand. Um, but there's still like zero sugar and all of that. So I've been on a huge strawberry seltzer kick lately.